Villagers and Heroes 2021. What's going on, Saviors? GH here. In this video, we're gonna do some Village and Heroes gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Villagers and Heroes is a fantasy mobile MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game. Okay, here's the... I think this is the character customization and we can pick the gender over here. Let's play as a female hero. How about this? Oh, somebody's talking in the background. Stop, bro. Okay, how about... Let's make this fast. Pick this first personality and the skin color as blue. Or maybe green. Yeah, let's pick the green skin color. Continue. Face style. We can pick from how many faces are in here. 19 faces. Let's pick the seventh face. That should be good. Then eye color is yellow. Continue. Then hairstyle. We got the emo hairstyle over here and some what is this hairstyle? Okay, let's use this, but let's check how many hairstyles we can pick. Wow, this is much more weirder. Okay, seven, eight. So about 25 hairstyle. Actually, the 25th is bald. So let's pick this one. Then hair color as pure red. Yeah. <laughs> we look like a total monster. Continue. Choose origin realm. Ardent. Stormhold. Green Raven. Sunken Tooth. Thorncrest. Halcyon. And Glittermore. Halcyon. Continue. Tap a button on the left to choose a class. Okay. Here are the different classes. My god, that background narrator needs to stop. Okay, here's the warrior. Here's the hunter. Can we zoom out so you guys can see the full preview? Nope, we couldn't. Here's the wizard. There goes the staff. And the priest. The priest has a shield and a mace. And the shaman is wielding another shield. And what's that? Is that an axe? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna play as a shaman. Continue. Choose starting gear, water and earth. What? Starting gear, water and earth? Okay, let's see them. Okay, so let's pick the water. Continue. Let's enter our name. Complete. New character. Do you want to create this character? Yes. Okay, here's our character. I think we need to press this. Enter world. Leleth. Raid boss. She looks nice for a raid boss. She will probably gonna look like very polygonal in game. What's this? Subscribe now. Close this. Man. That background narrator. <laughs> Not really listening to him. There should be a disabled button here. Okay, what are we supposed to do? We're in the village and heroes world. Uh, let's talk to Adriel. Talk to her. Okay. Give me a quest. Sister. Oh, accept. For some reason, the fishing hole. There's an arrow over there. Okay, let's select it. Can we? There it goes. I think we're fishing. Move away to cancel. Okay, there it goes. Fish. We got the fish. They taught us how to fish. Adriel, yes, I have one. I caught a fish. Let's go. Quest updated. Elden Forest. Elden Forest. Man, for a mobile game, this looks decent. This is very playable. There's a fairy over here. Can we interact with the fairy? Nope. Let's go to the bridge. Let's follow the arrow. Oh, a ferocious beast. Let's attack it with the water attack. Is this water? What's happening there? Dodge. Okay, water attack. More water attack. Ooh, dodge again. Okay, so the game will play somewhat action because there's telegraph attack that you will dodge. But it's tad targeting, guys. Let's talk to the NPC. Were you saying again? Runes? Okay, give us a quest. Equip the axe. Menu button. You're asking me to press this. Pressing it, but nothing's happening. I think she's asking me to press the avatar button. Okay. Uh, items? And there goes the axe. Equip, bruh. How can we equip this? Double click. Check. How do we drag it? What's happening, bruh? Nogment. Nope. Close this. Equip. What's happening? Okay. Ah. The icon of my starting axe looks the same as this one. That's why I'm a bit confused. I'm pressing equip, but I thought nothing was changing, but no. Something's changing. Okay. I think we're wearing the one with the higher power rating. Okay. Let's back it off. That should be good enough. Okay. There goes your quest. All right. Okay, I'm gonna meet you down there. 
There's an arrow below our character and there's an arrow over there. <laughs> They're really making sure that you find a way because there's no auto pathing and auto play. Let's go. Oh, what's this skill? We got a new skill. Let's Our use it. Draws ever near. I think that's the buff. It feels a bit odd though because I can't sidestep. What I mean is strafing. Got that one. Oh, you're a, you're an archer, huh? I thought you're a mage. Suiton! You're defeated, Jusu! Adriel! Okay, Malak! Give me a quest! I'm gonna meet you up ahead again! Let's go! By the way, guys, this game, according to its Google page, it has no autoplay. That's why I'm playing it today. I'm gonna show you guys a few MMORPGs on mobile without autoplay. What's this? Ghost of Malak. I need to talk to him. Malak, give me a quest, bro. To battle! Okay, we're fighting Malak. What? Where's our HP? I think this is our HP. What's this skill? Rejuvenating water heals target. Oh, okay, this is a healing skill. What the fluff? I think we picked a healer. OMG. Kind of makes sense. But... Ah, uh, we should have picked uh, the earth element. Finish this guy off. Heal! Are we even healing? Oh yeah, we're healing. Okay, more heals. I will bring back the shadow years. This is taking a while. You can't kill me, bro. We have heals. You haven't seen Okay, he's defeated Adriel. Doctor. But I just defeated him. Okay. Quest updated. Elden Forest. Okay, we need to go over there. Portal to Summer Hollow. Level 1. Jump. Epic mounts. Daily rewards. Of course. Get that daily reward. Added potion pouch. It's potions. Post this. And we're in the city. Oh, this is nice. I hope we get to see other people playing. Okay, so who do we need to talk to? Adriel again? Or do we need to go to this question mark? That's nice. I pressed M and the uh, map appeared. Okay, Adriel. Talk to you. Give me another quest. Oh, he gave us rewards. Nice. Okay, let's open those. What are those? Open the potion pouch. What? Use. Use it. There it goes. We got potions. We got treasure boxes, right? Where is it? Okay, how about let's back away. There's an icon over here. Let's press it. Uh oh, I'm assuming this is the gacha of the game. Okay, they're gonna gacha us. Open next chest. One silver. How about this one? Elden Forest. What? 1000 XP? Okay. How about the gold chest? A sash. Okay, I guess that's gonna help us. Let's equip it. Items. Equip the sash. Uh, equip our previous sash. Is, which is better? What? The power rating of our common belt is higher than the sash that we got. But it has stats. Okay, uh, how about let's just use it for now. Okay, let's check our map. There's a star over here and a question mark over here. I'm assuming both of those are quests. Let's go to the star. Rhoda. Okay, there goes Rhoda. I have a lot in mind. Oh, except oh, they give us more chests. Okay, how about let's open that later. I think we're gonna need one more to be able to open a gold chest. I think it's gonna stack. It's happening there. Are you gonna give me another quest or what? Just give me the quest. Oh, accept. Now, what's the quest? Man, we need the quest tracker over here. Because I don't know what to do, but there's an arrow. So I guess that's gonna work. Let's talk to the food vendor. Is that it? Man, I'm confused. I don't know what the... I don't know the quest is. Okay, there goes quest. Our active quest is welcome to the haunted moors. Find and speak Kregamus in the haunted moors. That's the, that's the only quest? Okay, how about let's open up our map. Over here, they want us to go to the haunted moor. Okay, let's go. Remember guys, this is a mobile MMORPG. Sometimes I keep forgetting that because mobile MMORPGs are getting better and better. And now they're listening to us because the game has no autoplay according to them. And so far, there's no autoplay. Okay, there goes the stable master. 
It's not our quest. Okay, let's talk to the stable master. Yeah, you're not crazy, bro. Just give me a quest. Are you sure? Indeed. Except mayor. There's a bunch of horses over here. We need to go back to the city. I think so. Let's open up our map. Oh, yeah, we need to talk to Rhoda. Let's go. There she goes. Turn over the quest. I have it. Okay, give me the rewards. More chest. Okay, let's open them all up. Okay, I will accept another quest. Let's open up the treasure boxes again. Open next chest. Copper, open next chest. 100 EXP, what? Okay. Oh, this is different. How about the next one? And this one, a weapon. Nope. That's it. There's no gold box. Now we need to talk to Hilda. We don't even need the tracker, I think so. Because let's just follow the arrows. What's this icon at top over here? A horse of a horse of heroism. Is this the quest tracker? It's kinda odd. Okay, let's talk to Hilda. Boots bubbles. Is that any way to talk to a potential customer? Accept more gold chest. Okay, let's open them up. Give me another quest, Hilda. Accept. Okay, let's open up the treasure box. Open this. There's no gold box again. <laughs> We're leveling up by just open up boxes. Okay, so for the veterans of the game, guys, can we level up in this game by just buying loot boxes? Please share it to us in the comments. Okay, now we need to go here. I think that's the training area or stables. No, it's the demise of Malak Clementine de Clancy. Okay. Let's talk to Clementine. Begin what? Give me a quest, Clementine. What happened to Clementine? Clementine has vanished. Now we need to talk to Dogan. He's the constable. What should we do? Quest updated. Okay, I'm really confused about that quest tracker. Let's just follow the arrow. You go. I think we need to go deeper here. It's like a dungeon. Is it a dungeon? Oh yeah, there are monsters. Oh no, people, crazed actor. Let's attack that dude. Water skill. So we on. Water technique. Okay, we got him. Ooh, what's that? Will pull leather. More enemies. Another crazed actor. Water jutsu. Okay, to be or not to be. More water jutsu. Why isn't it auto attacking? What's this? What? Copper. What's that? What's that? I wanna pick that up. Bone of what? Regeneration thingy. Water technique. We'll pull leather. Common shaman gloves. Let's check them out. Items. Let's see if we can equip this. Is this better than the one that we're wearing? Nope. Geomancy. Nope. Can we add some skills? Talents. Okay, I still don't know how to do those talents. Let's just proceed and play the game. Water Jutsu. You're back, huh? What's this? There's a jump in the game. What? I'm getting mobbed. Uh oh. Healing skill. Ooh, I think that's rare. Let's equip that. Got a new shield. What happened? I thought I picked it up. Have I picked it up? What happened? Where's the shield? Come on, guys. Okay. There's a Jordi NPC over there. Let's talk to him. Open up this chest. And then talk to Jordi. What's going on here, Jordi? Okay, we got a new quest. We need to fight this crazed actor. Let's buff first. And then water technique. Water technique. What's this? And there's a horseshoe icon over here. Can we mount? Ugh, that's the cash up. There's more crazed actor. What? I think this is the last ones. We need a new skill. What's happening here? There's another Bolton's Bastion. Is that a shield or what? Oh, copper. Okay, let's open up the items. Which is better, this one or this one? How about let's try using this green hewing axe. Equip. Is that it? Okay, let's finish up the quest. Where's the last enemy? There goes. It's a fairy. What? Parisa. Let's finish up the crazed actress first. What happened? 
Our skill became a shield. What's that? Oh, I think depending on our weapon, our skill changes. Now you're fighting me, huh? Yandra's gift. This one is a bit tougher. Use the shield. Shield up. Then water technique. Finish you off. Okay, there goes Jordi. Aspiring playwright. Jordi! What's happening here? Hermesa is defeated. Check. There it goes. As you see, guys, there's a gold chest. We're gonna open it. Ah, there it goes. Got copper. And what's that? EXP. And a weapon. There it goes. What? <laughs> Why is our weapon weak? Okay, at least we have rejuvenation, water bolt, and the water shield. Okay, let's equip it. We're gonna have three skills. Where is it? Double axe. What? We got two, two axe. What happened there? I kind of want to use this because it's, it has a crack strike. Okay, how about let's use this first to equip. Okay, our skill changed. Let's test this out first. And that's fun. Depending on your weapon, your skill changes. I like it. Dogan, the constable. Talk to him. More people vanished. And what is that? A shadowy apparition. Let's fight it. It's a boss. Let's go. Oh no, we need to talk to that shadowy apparition. I thought it's a boss. Continue. Continue. Just give me a quest, bruh. There it goes. Summer's Theater. Okay, we need to turn over the quest to the constable. Bad, bad, bad. This is terrible. Give me a new quest. Definitely. Okay, let's check our map. We need to go back to the city. Close this. I want to test our new skill. Hilda. It's true. Okay, it's safe. Now what? Oh, we need to talk to the mayor. Mayor, give me a boss hunting quest. Oh, more gold chest. Why do you look like a child, mayor? A hero, you say? I accept. Where should I start? I accept. Now what? Open up our map. Oh no, we don't need to. Eugenio. How do you pronounce this in English? Eugenio? <laughs> okay, anyway, let's talk to him. Agreed. Who is Corwin? Give me a quest, bruh. Now what? I think that's... I think the quest destination is far. Yep. Oh, it's... Oh, it's in the next map. But we need to talk to this NPC over here. There's a lot of quests. I think we should follow the current quest that we have. Let's open up the boxes before we continue. We might get another, maybe, equipment. Okay, there it goes. Fluidity. What? Okay, I'm kind of liking this. Depending on what you're equipping, your skill changes. Look at this. Fluidity, water shield. Let's equip it and see if we're gonna have the skills. No, we didn't. <laughs> Okay, I was wrong. What? What happened there? I have it, right? Uh, how is this gonna be used? Fluidity. And what's that? Okay, how about let's test out. Oh, look at this. There's another player. His mount is a spider. Nice. Here's another player over here. Okay, but I need to finish my quest. Ah, it looks like this is where people upgrade and do their daily stuff. Look at that. E Diablo. Okay, let's get out of here and finish our quest. Man, there's a lot of quests. On to the next area. I'm liking this portal over here. Look at this. That's nice. Let's go. And what's happening here? Oh, it's the Dagmar Fields. Okay. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Let's open up our map. Okay, this is where we're supposed to go. Should we follow the road or what? Let's follow the road. It should be safer because there's a skull over here. I'm assuming that's a world boss. Ah, <laughs> my curiosity. I want to see the world boss. Is it a world boss or just... A skull icon on the map. <laughs> a skull icon on the map. Okay, we're getting close to the skull icon. There's a field B over here. They might be aggressive. Okay, this is the... Oh! This frigging B. Let's defeat this B. Which is better? Okay, that's the skill. 18 damage. Okay. Leander's gift and sapphire. Let's go back to the magic attacks. Short axe or ewing axe. What are we gonna use? 27 power rating. Equip. Okay, now we have three skills. I think the skill icon is this house. It's probably an instance dungeon. Maybe it's gonna open later. Oh no! What the floppy bird? There's a boss over here. Latisha. Okay, let's fight him. 
Let's shield up first. And then use the heal. Then sew it on. Water technique. Okay, let's fight. Is the boss alright? He has a lot of HP. But he's beatable. Bruh, you're gonna die. Give me some loot. And he's dead. And that's how it's like playing Village and Heroes from the start. And I must say, I really like the equipment system that they have here. Wherein the gears have skills on them. And also, there's no autoplay. Now the quest system is not perfect, even though it's easy to do, there's an arrow to follow. The thing that bothered me is I wanted to see the quest tracker while I play. It's a bit nitpicky but to be honest, it really did bother me. Now for the graphics, it reminds me of World of Warcraft and that's good enough for me. And it also runs very well. Now the combat is tab targeting and for the most part, you're just standing at one spot. There is telegraphed attacks for sure that's gonna keep you on your toes and for sure they're gonna add more and more as you progress in the game. Overall, I really like Village and Heroes. This is how mobile games should be, no autoplay. And if you wanna check the game out, it's on the Google Play Store. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.